Charm GUI uses Charm to prepare simulation systems using the Charm force field, although Charm GUI outputs can be used for other simulation programs, including Amber. However, due to major differences between the Charm and Amber force fields, preparing Amber inputs using the Amber force fields previously required users to change many things manually, preventing Charm GUI users from using the Amber force fields directly. Now Charm GUI can perform this preparation automatically. Please check this FAQ to learn which Amber force fields are supported and the current limitations. We will update this FAQ as we add more Amber force fields and handle more molecules and ions. One example of a protein that benefits from recent Amber force field developments is the GABA-A receptor structure from PDBID 508F, a large glycosylated transmembrane protein in complex with the steroid molecule pregnanolone. To properly simulate this molecule, we need to use several amber force fields, including FF14SB for protein, lipid 17 for lipids, TIP3P for water, glycam 6 j for carbohydrates, and GAF2 for the ligand pregnanolone. To start, go to Membrane Builder and type in PDBID 508F. This structure is available from both OPM and RCSB. OPM structures have the advantage of being pre-aligned to the membrane, however in this case the RCSB structure has proper information about glycosidic linkages that is unfortunately missing from the OPM entry because the connect information is removed from the OPM files. While we could model these glycans by ourselves using Glycan Reader and Modeler, in this video demo we'll use the RCSB entry. Choose RCSB and click Next. On the first page of PDB Reader, we can see that the protein chains in glycan sequences are detected and already selected. If we had chosen OPM, the glycan sections would be absent. Because we also want to model the pregnanolone, we should select all of the P9N residues, then click Next. Since RCSB includes an SDF entry for P9N, we can leave all of the settings for pregnanolone at their default values. To learn more about how to properly model ligand molecules, please watch the video demos on protein ligand reading. Based on the protein sequence, we can tell that the PDB entry has a few missing residues. However, all of the missing sections shown here are from the NNC termini, so we will not include them in the simulation system. PDB Reader also detects several disulfide bonds and glycosylation sites. We believe these are correct, so we will leave them as they are and click Next to continue. Don't forget to view the modeled structure to verify that it was modeled correctly. Notice that the hydrogen atoms are filled in for the pregnanolone and sugars. Note that the RCSB structure is not pre-aligned in a membrane with the bilayer center at z equals zero and the membrane normal along the z-axis. Because we chose the RCSB structure, we need to indicate how the structure should be aligned to the membrane. If you are confused about how to properly orient a structure with the membrane, you should see this video demo at the 2 minute mark. For this video, we'll just tell you that you need to align the first principal axis along Z, which is a reasonable choice for a symmetric protein. Translate the molecule along Z by 37.5 angstroms, which was empirically determined, and flip about the Z axis to make the extracellular side in the upper leaflet. Click Next to load the membrane lipid selection page. The job retriever module facilitates returning to the previous step without needing to rerun that step's inputs. This is especially useful for large proteins like 508F, where each step can take more than a minute to run. To use it, copy and paste your job ID, and click Submit. For Membrane Builder, the orientation options appear on PDB Reader Step 3. When the orientation step finishes, Make sure to view the structure to ensure that the transmembrane region of the protein appears between the two planes. If your result looks different, your molecule was positioned incorrectly and you need to return to the previous step to try again. 508F is a large protein that needs a wide membrane to ensure that the protein never interacts with its own image during simulation. Enter 150 angstroms for the length of X and Y. We want to build a membrane with cholesterol and POPC with one cholesterol for every four POPC molecules in either leaflet. You can of course select different lipids with different ratios. When clicking the Show the System Info button, we might get a warning about the number of lipids in each leaflet, but this system is close enough to balanced that we could ignore the warning. Click Next to go to the next step, and click OK if you get a warning message. 
Because this system is quite large, it may take several minutes to finish packing the lipid pseudospheres. Make sure to save the job ID in case you accidentally close your browser during packing. With this job ID, you can return to your job, assuming that the step finished normally. On the Solvent Options page, you should view the packing structure to ensure that there are at least four spheres between your protein and its image. Click the Calculate Number of Ions button, and then Next. Lipid replacement happens in this step, and because our system is quite large, it can take around two hours to complete. Again, remember to save your job ID or bookmark the bookmark link so you can check your job later. If you use the link before the current step finishes, you'll get a message saying that Charm is still running. If this happens, wait a while and check again later. When it does finish, first view the replaced lipid structures to ensure there is nothing unreasonable. Then click Next to assemble your system components. Again, view the assembly structure when the step finishes. Assuming everything is fine, we can now select force field options. Because we want to use the amber force fields, we should select amber from the force field menu. Verify that the versions of each force field are the ones you want. For a large system like ours with lots of water, we can save some simulation time by selecting hydrogen mass repartitioning to increase our time step from 2 to 4 femtoseconds. Finally, make sure amber input generation is selected and click next to generate inputs. Now that our system is prepared, we can download the compressed project directory by clicking the download button. Our AMBER simulation files are in the AMBER directory. Make sure to read the README, which contains a shell script that can be used to run your simulation with minor modifications. If necessary, review shell basics with the Unix tutorials on Charm GUI.